So here, 2.7, in this section, we're talking about efficiencies. Uh, we're going to call efficiency this eta. Uh, and like most efficiencies, efficiency is output over input, right? And this will be less than 1, right? Because we're, we're going to have to put more into a, um, a pump, a motor, you know, a machine than what we actually get out of it because it's not ideal. It's not 100% efficient. Uh, so the desired output over the required input is our efficiency. Uh, so generally that's going to be the power. So W dot that we get out of it uh, is going to be less than W dot that we get into it. So maybe we know the efficiency, 88%. You know, then you know if we know this and we know one of the other uh, work in or work outs, so then we can solve for for that you know we can rearrange I, I I would stick with this I would memorize this one I would put this one on your formula sheet uh, but uh, many times we'll we'll take the efficiency times the the power we put in and then that's the actual power that we get at that, the out that's actually how much work is done so two things to talk about are motors and pumps the efficiency of a motor would be the power that the shaft is getting out versus or over the power, uh, th uh, the electrical power that we're putting into the motor. So uh, it's kind of like this, the denominator is how much the motor is drawing uh, from the electricity, from the current. How much the motor is drawing versus how much work or power the shaft is really getting or really producing all right so we might have to put you know 40 kilowatts in just to get 35 kilowatts of shaft power or shaft work okay uh, and then there is the pump uh, so you might have a motor that is uh, pushing, we'll, we'll look at some, some ones in just a minute, a motor that is driving a pump. Uh, the pump has its own efficiency, and so the numerator is the actual work that is being accomplished divided by the work that we're putting into the pump by the shaft. So this numerator is the same as the, uh, sorry, this denominator right here is the same as the numerator up here. The denominator is the work uh, put into the pump by the shaft of the motor. Uh, and then this numerator is how much uh, work is actually being accomplished. How much work is actually being accomplished. And, and that, that's going to be like, how, what's the change in potential energy you know if we are raising a fluid a certain height you know that is the actual work that this pump is doing or maybe also the change of kinetic energy if this pump is um, you know increasing the speed of a fluid then that's actually we can kind of know what is the actual velocity before and after the pump um, or maybe the flow work if there's a change in pressure Okay, uh, the efficiency of the pump is the mechanical efficiency. Mechanical efficiency. All right, uh, and this pump efficiency is going to be less than one uh, because the pump uh, may have losses, may have losses. Uh, due to some things like the friction in the pipes, friction in the pipes. So, you know, the, the amount that's lost due to friction, it'll show up here in a lower efficiency of the pump. All right. The overall efficiency of a pump, if you have a motor that is driving a pump, uh, would be the multiplication of both of those. For example, if you've got a pump that's 90% efficient, we've got 0.9, and a motor that's 90% efficient, right? Then the overall total efficiency would be 81%, right? If both of those are 90%. We lose a little bit here, we lose a little bit here. Multiply the efficiencies together to get the overall efficiency of a pump. The main thing 
it's output over input. And if you have two things, you know, in series uh, connected to each other, then you multiply the efficiency of the motor times the efficiency of the pump right there.